Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today I am going to be doing some survival camping here in Alaska. How can you say no to that? Okay, Luke and Jake here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel and today we're going survival camping here in Alaska. Wait, 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 do you guys want to go camping too? Yeah! Hey, okay, you guys can come along. Luke, Tom, Nate, and Jake here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and today we're going survival camp. I want to go too. Okay, you can come too, Becca. All right, Luke, Tom, Nate, Jake, and Becca here with the Outdoor Boys. Me too, me too, but can we not do the survival part? Okay, you can sleep in your car. Fine. Luke, Tom, Nate, Jake, Rebecca, and my sister Melanie here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and today we're going camping, and some of us are going survival camping in the wilderness of Alaska. Yeah! yeah. Kenai Lake here. Nice. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh. Nathan's almost down. I think if I hop on that seesaw, you're gonna die. You want me to do it? All right. <laughs> Maybe like almost dies every time we hit the ground. Oh, no. Yeah. Should we make a bridge? There we go. Hey guys. All right guys, you want to go across? Yeah, how about? All right guys, shall we explore? Yeah. Come on, I need to find a spot to camp. Well, we've got lots of firewood, lots of building material. I think this looks like a good place to build our shelter. Look at this. An old door hinge. It's the heel to a boot. That looks like a bit of a saw. Come on, boys. We're gonna do a little camping here and my wife and sister are gonna be joining us, which is a special treat. So I reserved some sites for them. So we're gonna go ahead and get the campsite set up and get the boys fed. And when they show up, then we are gonna go down the shores of the lake and do some survival camping. Start gathering up firewood and put it in the back of the car. See this? Mm -hmm. See these chunks? And that's this cottonwood bark. These burn really good. Mm -hmm. 
That's my, my blast mat. All right, we got these diamond willows here. We need to find a willow switch for hot dogs here. Oh, there's a, there's one. I've got some ketchup and I've got hot dogs. There you go, there. There you go, eat that up, buddy. <laughs> well, we got a late lunch out of the way. Now I gotta start making dinner. Got something special here. That fire's kind of smoky. I think I need to fan it a little bit. It's a truck. Oh my goodness! There's a Nathan up there. Yeah. You're gonna be so covered in pine tar. I've discovered over the years that diapers and pull-ups make excellent hot pads. Mmm. All right, great. that looks perfect. That looks absolutely perfect. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Not a bed that he can just parking. Just parking. <laughs> Those tears are real, people. <laughs> no, no, no. A nice tent spot here. So we're going to show you a little bit of a diversity of approaches to camping here. So I'm going to try to go do the survival stuff. Becca's going to sleep in a tent with a cot and my sister Melanie is making an art form out of car camping. So you've got a Kia Soul here, which is, I think, a compact car. Both seats need to go all the way forward and lean all the way forward. You got, got these me. boxes, these storage boxes. And you just flip them upside down, stick them in the wheel well. Yeah, once I put my weight on it, it's pretty flush. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Jacob. My sister's six foot two and she can sleep stretched out in the back of a Kia Soul with this system. So a couple boxes go a long way. We got a little foam mat there. Oh, absolutely. Got If you're gonna go all out, you need to go all out. You got an air mattress on top of your foam? Absolutely. So you just barely under inflate a full size air mattress mm -hmm. and it fits just right. Well, check it out. She's got this mosquito netting that goes over the doors so you can roll the windows down, and keep the bugs out. Got a nice little lamp here. Nice, plenty of room to sit. Little pouch for her stuff. Well, this is pretty slick. This is pretty slick. It is really comfortable. Go for oh, it. No, Turn it no, he's, he's so Take dirty. Take your marshmallow He's goo. so dirty. No. Oh. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, good Quarter this thing up. All righty. All right, guys, who wants some chicken? Me. Here's your plate. This is your plate? This is your plate? Your, your your plate? Got all okay. It smells fantastic. Do you like the chicken? I liked it so much, it is gone. <laughs> well, it's time for dessert, and I brought marshmallows, but my sister also brought marshmallows. <laughs> Which one do you want? I want the big one with the big <laughs> lemon cookie. <laughs> what do you guys got for dessert? Hershey's. I also brought lemon cookies. Hey, mm -hmm. my, my mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, flaming marshmallows. Oh, hey. Look at the difference in those. <laughs> one's a small planet and the other one's a marshmallow. <laughs> nice. Did you just eat that entire chocolate bar? But I'm yeah. making it small. Here's here's a lemon cookie for you. Thanks. I'm about to extract the layer of this. The more you. <laughs> yeah, you like that, Becca? Is that good? Well, that's really good. And look we'll at this. What this is it? It's going inside. <laughs> is that your lemon cookie s'more? It is. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it's something. <laughs> well guys, we got about an hour before bedtime and I'm going to go see if we can't pick some watermelon berries uh, before bedtime. Oh, you find some, Tom? Mm -hmm. That one looks 
Oh, you. that one's ripe, definitely. Definitely ripe. No, uh, not many. Plant another berry <laughs> bush. Oh my goodness. It's pretty sparse pickings. Look at that right there. See that bush? Oh, that's huge. That's a right one and it's a big one. Oh, there's a bunch of them on there. It's a jackpot for real. Jackpot. There's a watermelon berry plant right there. Oh, yeah. See if there's any. We would not survive off of our foraging skills today. We got maybe 10, 12. I'll miss you. I love you, baby. Got some of this shelf life milk. Lasts a couple months without refrigeration. Until you open it, at least. There we go, got some milk for Jacob. Well, it's getting late and me and Jacob are gonna head off and go build our survival shelter. Now, poor Jacob has always wanted to come on these campouts and so very rarely gets to come. So this is one where I think I can bring him pretty easily. So Jacob and me are gonna go out camping. You excited, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. And I got one now. now. <laughs> All right, Jake, you ready? Yeah. Follow me. All right, buddy, you ready to cross the bridge? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can do it. Look at this, the water's gotten deeper. There we made it. Yeah. Oh, you found, you found a fishing bobber. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, should we camp here? One bad thing about sleeping on beaches, bears love to prowl up and down beaches, especially at night. So we're gonna keep the bear maze handy. <laughs> First thing we do is we measure our, the space we need. Inflate the air mattress first so I know what size to make the shelter. That's my template. You like the 10? I want 10. Yeah. I think we got room. Got a little shelter built. Jake seems to be digging it. Time to get into your jammies. Well, tonight we're gonna try out a new sleeping quilt. I got the boys. It just arrived in the mail. I think Enlightened Equipment makes this thing, um, but it's really soft and it's super light. And uh, we're gonna see if Jacob likes it. Okay. Got these adhesive hand warmers here. We're gonna slap those. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, you look cozy. There's tickle holes in here. Look at this. This is great. Oh. Jacob, are you having fun? Yeah. You are full of energy. How many how many marshmallows did you eat? You ate a ton of marshmallows. Ready. Yeah. <laughs> it's bedtime. <laughs> Well, gosh darn it, Jacob did pretty good last night. He woke up around two complaining about something and I, I think it was the adhesive warmer on his back got a little too hot. So I took that off and snuggled him up and, and he seemed to do really well after that. But it's kind of cold. It's about 40 degrees right now and that, that fire feels really good. What a beautiful morning. I wake up in my sleeping bag and open my eyes 
and I see this. I can hear loons calling, occasional trout jumping right off there. Got a roaring fire going to keep the, the cold away. Man, this is nice. This is really nice. I'm just gonna sit and take this in for a bit. I've got some steel cut oatmeal here. This is the good stuff. If you're not a fan of oatmeal, it's probably because you're eating instant oatmeal. Try real steel cut oatmeal, you'll never go back. Now I could be cooking this by just laying it straight on the coals. But when you want to simmer something and adjust the temperature a little more, something like this works pretty darn well. Well, there's something substantial making noise in the woods behind me. Just uh, keep that close. Now the squirrels are going bonkers. Yeah, now the squirrels are making their little warning chatter. They don't do that for moose normally. I'm not too worried about the bears that can see us. It's the bears that get surprised that scare me. I can hear sticks snapping, pretty big ones over there. Now it's moving over there. Hmm. There we go. An ugly little spoon. All right, nice dab of butter. Hey, Jake. I got a fire over there. You want to warm up by the fire? Come on out of the tent and I'll get you some food, okay? I got some oatmeal for you. Well, he's not coming out. Got to go in after him. Hi, Jake. Sit down. That's nice and warm, isn't it? You up. Oh, you like that? Yeah. Did you get your spoon dirty? Yeah. You want me to wash it? Yes. Oh shit, let me see your spoon. I'll go wash it. There you go. Do you want to go see mama now? Yeah. All right, let's pack up, put the fire out, and go see mama. Okay. <sighs> All right, Jacob, let's go get Mama. Shall we cross the bridge? Oh, oh. Yeah, that was close. 
His oh, your came came off. Off. Good morning, Melody. Good morning. <laughs> All right, guys, did you have fun? Yeah! <laughs> well, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. And check the link below for lists of other videos which you might like, including our six-week tour of Alaska. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.